Hi, I'm Judy Clark with the Allegheny Journal, and today we have Laura Renoni, who is the Executive Director of the Clifton Ford School of the Arts, and Rolf Bruner from Hot Springs. He's one of the vendors for this weekend's Chris Kindle Mark. Did I say that correct? <laughs> <laughs> and it'll be held at the School of the Arts on Friday and Saturday. This is a big event. It's the eighth year that you've you've done this. Can you give us a little um, history about how this came about and? Uh, came about in the early days of when the school had started and they uh, wanted to find a, a fundraiser that they thought would be enjoyable to the community and that would also give area artists and artisans some opportunity and they looked at the beautiful mill in the back of the right. school which was built in 1893 it was a lumber mill a lot of the older homes in Clifton Forge were built from Mill, wood from that mill and um, our folks on the board had been to ger the authentic German Christmas markets over in Germany and thought it lent itself very well to that and um, and that's where it began. Well it's funny I was looking at your website and it said that Chris Kindlebark looks and smells like a European Christmas village and I think that's pretty accurate. Uh, you walk in and you s immediately that there's a there are food vendors there are all sorts of arts and crafts uh, can you give us a little insight into what will be offered this weekend? Um, there will be uh, food of all weekend. It is primarily Germ it's German hot right. and right. cold foods, um, foods that are made by area bakers, including um, Stollen, which is authentic German. Mm. It's kind of like a fruit cake, coffee right. cake. Um, uh, Rolf is one of our two people on our committee that are our, our consultants for authenticity for what is truly German and Swiss. <laughs> and this is great stolen. And um, then we have people that are selling um, other kinds of baked goods, apple strudel and um, a lot of different kinds of cookies and things that people can take home for the holidays and freeze pies, um, things like that. We have some really good food. Uh, oh, and someone making shortbread cookies with candied herbs and candied Ooh. flowers on them. Yeah, um, so some really nice food. Um, and the uh, vendors will be with us. Everything at Chris Kindle Market has to be handmade. Right, yeah. um, and so you'll see a wide range of jewelry, um, pottery, uh, stained glass work. Uh, we have an artist that makes stuffed animals by, of her own design from collectible chenilles oh, that are really beautiful. Um, uh, forged iron work and photography. Um, there's just a little bit all of, kinds every, of things, everything. A little bit of everything. And it's all very, very high quality. Mm -hmm. from, from what I know, uh, and it smells so good when you first walk in. You can smell the food cooking. I know they're, they're live Christmas wreaths and that, that sort of thing. And I wanted to talk a minute to, to Rolf. Uh, who do we have here in front of you? Well, this is actually one of Laura's collection uh, nutcracker. I, I just been introduced to him just a few minutes ago, <laughs> uh, so I don't really know much what to say about him. He's a but, drummer. Uh, he's a drummer. He's a, right he's a authentic uh, German Nutcracker th drummer. Exactly. And what now? What will you be doing at the? Um... I do a um, traditional German um, Christmas tree or wooden Christmas tree ornaments and also Christmas decoration. Uh, some of the stuff is called Schwiebbogen, which is uh, lighted arches. Um, they're very decorative, they're very pretty. I have one of yours. I have a nativity scene that I just love. Mm -hmm. It has a little light in it, it's, it's carved, it's just okay. lovely. Thank yeah, you. That's, Thank that's you. one of yours, I, I imagine. And something uh, new this year, I understand you have a beer garden on Friday night. We do, um, and what that will be is um, it kind of just extending Friday. Chris Kindle Market runs Friday from 2 to 7 with shopping and food and drink, and then we're stopping the shopping on Friday night to, to add the beer garden. So it will be all, um, all the same food and beverages and alcoholic and non-alcoholic and the really wonderful Glühwein, which is so warming. It's mulled wine that's got apple cider mm. and seasonings in it, mm. really delicious. And you have music and entertainment also, in addition to the arts and crafts. Now you have the, mm -hmm. uh, a, a flout, I guess it, flautist, is Flautus, that the right. correct word? Yeah. Uh, the Allegheny Mountain String Project, mm -hmm. um, traditional German accordion. That This will be kind of interesting. And, there, and then Santa Claus, I believe, is coming on Saturday, is that correct? Saturday from 11 to 12 and 3 to 4. Father German Father Christmas. We don't call him Santa. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Yeah, he's very authentic. <laughs> Father Christmas. Yes, he is authentic, and yeah. I think he he doesn't look like your regular Santa Claus, does he? I think he has. Uh, he looks a little different. He got he's, he got a haircut since you saw him last. Yeah. So, um, and when will Santa? When I'm sorry. When will Father Christmas be there on Saturday? He will uh, 11 to 12 on Saturday and 3 to 4. Also, exactly. So, well, this is a this is a big event. How many? Um, 
people do you expect to attend this year? We usually have around 2,000 people and we advertise pretty widely for this so we always see people from the DC area and Williamsburg and into, you know, into West Virginia um, and we have had lots of people calling in the last week you know making sure we haven't changed anything <laughs> and they bring friends it's become a you know like a day outing for it a is, lot of people yeah. from from far away and right now we also have an exhibit at the, at the Clifton Forge Public Library about Chris Kindle Market oh, right and now. in the cases and, and there in that exhibit you'll see a really big piece that Rolf made uh, last year to commemorate Chris Kindle Market and it's just magnificent and then a lot of work by uh, several of our vendors Lisa Petrosky, Joe Wood Cindy Littleton, Mar Jimenez, jewelry and pottery and um, hand-painted gourds, some really beautiful pieces. It's lovely. Rolf, I, you've been, have, how many years have you attended this? Seven. I missed the first one. You, only, you missed the first one. So you, you keep coming back, so it must be a successful I enjoy venue. it. It's, uh, you know, like I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm part of the team, so <laughs> I really enjoy it. So it's, you know, it's just almost like a piece of home, so. It is, exactly. So it's, uh, what are the, the times on Friday from when to when and Saturday? Friday from uh, 2 to 7 um, for shopping and, and food and all of that, and then the beer garden is 7 to 9, and then Saturday from 10 to 5. Okay, yeah. and uh, there is an, a small admission fee. There, there is, there's a $2 cash admission fee required for uh, adults, children age 12 and younger um, are free. And uh, we do have Wi-Fi in the mill, so some of the vendors take Square, um, oh, but correct, cash yeah. and checks is always a great right. idea. Should bring cash just to be on the right. safe side. Right. People, yeah. it's a big shopping. Some people come and they do all their Christmas shopping. It's really the start of Christmas season that. in the Allegheny <laughs> Highlands. And then Saturday, we end at 5 and the town of Clifton Forge lights their Christmas tree at 6 o'clock. Oh, that's right. Yes, the so, Christmas tree lighting is Saturday night. Right. Um, and I want to just say that the Clifton Forge School of the Arts is located. Give, give some directions for anyone who might be watching this and doesn't know exactly where it is. Okay. We are on 518 Church Street, um, which you can get there from, uh, gosh, I'm always not always good about exit numbers. Oh, exit uh, 24, is that correct? The Dabney exit is exit 24. I okay, so, so if you take that ex exit, you would take a right <laughs> into the center of Clifton Forge and take a left on Jefferson and a left on Church, and we'll be right there on the right. And um, if it's the exit that's close, closer to Kroger, you take a left off the exit and go straight down into Clifton Forge and Town Hall would be on your left. You take a right on Jefferson and then a left on Church. Right. But the actual address is? 518 Church, Church Street. Street. So if anybody wanted to Google that, then they could, they right. could do that. Fine and the that entrance is in the back of the building, not on the front. Correct. Just yeah. look where all the cars are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, there is a cars there's also a handicapped parking uh, entrance in the back of the okay. mill and a handicapped entrance. Well, it's a lot of fun. It's gotten to be a huge event for Clifton Forge. We're so excited that you're having it again this year. And it's, it's a nice fundraiser for the School of the Arts, too, It's our biggest it? one of the year. It's important for I us. I know a Thank lot you. of work goes into it. You've had a big committee working on it probably since the last one, I would imagine. Not quite that long. <laughs> Rolf is part of that. That's why he feels like he's a big part of it, because he is. And, um, and uh, Andre Kari, we've got several great people on it. Well, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for coming. Really looking forward to the Chris Kindle Mark. If you, say <laughs> yeah. if you want to say it wrong, on um, Friday and Saturday at the Clifton Forest School of the Arts in downtown Clifton Forest. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having us. Thank you.